you hear me? Oh, let me come up to the big screen. Hello, good morning. If you can hear the sound of my voice, you've discovered Grandma Plays a Game. I'm Grandma. This is my channel where I play games. And today we are wandering through the fabulous post-apocalyptic wastelands of Fallout New Vegas. Uh, the fabulous world given to us by Bethesda and Obsidian. Is it Obsidian? Oblivion? No, Obsidian. Oblivion was the Skyrim. Oh, okay. I'm awake. I'm awake. Happy Saturday to all of you who are still in Saturday. And good morning to anyone who's still in the morning, as it is out here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. So wherever you are in the world and whatever you're celebrating in the coming weeks, I'm wishing you peaceful holidays, joyful celebrations. And for those of you who struggle with this season, uh, I will be here streaming the Acts of Truth. Good morning, my darling. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I will be here this morning for a little bit, tomorrow morning for a little bit, and Monday. Uh, I would like to just carry on streaming on Mondays. We'll do some some casual BG3 as we have been. How are you today, Axe? How is your Saturday going? All of my hair. I was still falling out this morning. I'm like, there's nothing left. Why, why though? Why, though? Why, though? <laughs> so, hi, Axe. We're going to do some fallout today. I was considering, I put it on the schedule. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. But this is just sort of like, I don't have to work again until, until next Wednesday. And I have an event tomorrow that I'm going to go to, but I'm going to keep um, Christmas Day just really quiet. Can't think of a better... Oh, my baby. Mwah, I'll give you extra cookies. I actually was going to spend... I, I might still do it this afternoon and make like a little a holiday border or something like that. I'm, I don't know. I don't have any... De the only program I think I have on the computer is Paint 3D. So I don't know if there's something I can just download that's easy for dummies. I should go look at Nutty is the one on YouTube who's just really delightful about um, teaching people how to navigate OBS and all of that stuff. So uh, thank you so much. Yeah, my, my hope is uh, we're doing a late lunch tomorrow. So I can be here in the morning and I thought maybe today we'd do some more Fallout because I'll be doing Fallout on Saturday's Legend of Cairo. Hello, my love. Come on in. Come on in. Let's get some, uh, what are we going to do here? I need to just copy this. Hang on. Control C. Nope, that was Shift C. Control Z. God bless America, just when I thought I was getting clever. Okay, control C. Thank you. Now I can do that. Boop. And now I can control V. Boop. And now I can do that faster. <laughs> All right, you guys, get your cookies. Uh, drop yourselves in the pillow and blanket for it today. Fallout New Vegas, Old World Blues. Tomorrow, possibly some casual cozy murder hitman because i miss that game so much and since i'm not going to be able to stream on sundays until the middle of january where we will celebrate my anniversary because i started streaming january um i don't remember it's more than a year it'll be two years i think two years in january so we'll do a little I, i'm not going to try to pick a specific day we'll do we'll find a day in a sunday in january hit nan that's right hit nan coming back i just miss playing the game i really do it is such a beautiful game um and then 2024 we're just gonna i, I have told my new job that i only want to work wednesday thursday friday and to be honest i know it's the holiday season but y'all I'm clearing f from, where is the IRS? Bob, did you get that? Um, from customer generosity, uh, as much as I'm netting hourly right now. <laughs> so yeah, I don't need to work more hours than I want to, especially because I did the last three days. I could not go out and do it again today. I am utterly spent. And especially because yesterday, 
there was so much traffic going in, even in the HOV lanes, that we picked everybody up. We got on the right ferry. <laughs> oh God, no, I will never do that sound effect. FBI, open up. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> no, I'm going to bring back some of the commands I had last year too. Um, yeah, we just kind of shut down <laughs> in July. But um, so we drove down to the airport. And by the time we got through all the traffic going down and all the traffic inching into the airport, and we have special areas where shuttles and limos and things like that, you know, it's, it's a limo shuttle. It's, I, I hate calling it a bus because I've driven a bus for the last year. It's not a bus. It's nice. It's nice. So, uh, we pull in, get everybody taken care of, get in the ne next spot. By that point, I usually get in there around 1230 in the afternoon. We didn't get in there until 130 and I have to be back there by 210, 215. So basically I dropped everybody off, contacted the dispatch, said, I'm going to go to the break area and use the facilities. I'm going to recover the bus to the best of my ability. And I'm going right back into arrivals, went right back into arrivals, picked everybody up and came back. By the time I was finished, uh, dropping everyone off and cleaning the bus. I had done 10 hours just, and don't tell me, Oh, but you drive. It, it's so easy to drive. If you think it's easy to drive, you're not doing it right. And you're one of the reasons I have to constantly slow down, just stop it, pay attention. I was a professional driver before I was a professional driver. I take pride in my ability to navigate the roadways safely. So anyway, yep. I am just beat. Plus yesterday, somebody was helping to lift luggage up into the storage compartment. And, um, it was one of those little like carry on suitcases. One of those little like tiny, not tiny, but like little three foot rectangles has the wheels on the back, but on the front, it had these two support stand things like hard plastic. And as they lifted it up there, one of those support stand things caught my ankle, like right there hard. I almost like, it was one of those pains where you're like, I'm going to cry like right now. Torusama. Hi, Jen. I hope you have a good day at work. I hope you have a good day at work. Hello, my love. How are you, Toru? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, it's, it's not even well bruised yet, but it was just like right above that bone. And all that little nerve cluster that's in there. And, uh, and uh, the gen gentleman was like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it, it's work. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be just fine in a minute. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I would not want to be out there working again today. Just, and, and I get bone tired, like any uh, bruises or things I get like that. It's just, they uh, now at this side of 50, they make me really bodily tired my body's like man we don't we don't want to do nothing nope <laughs> so anyway um yeah i got i put a whole bunch of arnica on it last night and iced it up so it'll heal just fine but um <clears throat> i'm just gonna take today to chill out with you guys as long as we want to and tomorrow just have some fun you know it might just be two hours it might you know, depends on how we feel tomorrow. Like I say, I have a lunch thing in the afternoon. And then on Monday, I just want to hang out here. So if I get a chance later on today and I figure out how to do it nicely, um, I might make up like a little holly border or something like that. I'm not big on uh, Christmas iconography, all of the Santas and candy canes and reindeers and shit. But I never was, even when I celebrated Christmas. Um, I was, oh, you know, my favorite Christmas song is the Holly and the Ivy. 
and there is a version by Mannheim Steamroller. If you go and look that up, I can't, um, I'm not going to go try things. As you can hear, I'm a little stuffed up. I had a, a weird sleep last night and I did something really terrible. You want to know what I did shop? So you know that I have been struggling with little invaders, little furry invaders who think they want to live here in my RV and I do not want them to live here in my RV and they've managed to stay between. So this is the floor inside the RV and then under the RV, there is a winter kit, um, like plastic fiberglass sort of, a barrier that's been put on Well, they're setting up camp in between these spaces. So I can't get to them because the fiberglass plastic thing is completely closed off except for the little hole that they've chewed up in the front. So, um, there are other little ingress egress places where I've, I've noticed somebody trying to be up in the, under a cabinet or something, but not very much like they, there's nothing for them. They can't get to my food and things like that. So they don't, um, investigate too far. Um, but I have a little Sonic thing down at one end and I've been told that they don't care about that really. I mean, wild rats don't, they, they will get what they want, period, dot, end of paragraph. They, they, if they can find a way to get what they want, they will get it. Um, but it, it's, you got to do what you got to do. Um, and then I had also read that they don't like mothballs or mint. And then I've also read, they don't care. It doesn't bother them. <laughs> like, well, I'm going to try it. Cause I know somewhere in here, I have a, a container of mint oil, peppermint oil, like old school concentrated mint oil. And I thought, you know what I could do? There's that little gap where the PEX tubes come in to the water heater and I can almost guarantee wherever they are down below, it's near that water heater because toasty. Um, and I thought, okay, well, what I can do here, let me get, I have these little cotton circles. Let me put some mint oil on here and it will just put it right around the, where that hole in the wood is and those PEX tubes go down. Torusoma already knows what I have done wrong <laughs> because you have pet rats. So I came home that day or the, the following day and I'm like, oh my God, what is that smell? That's horrible. That's a terrible smell. It's kind of the mint, but something's gone wrong. And I pulled out a drawer and show my flashlight down at the little hole where I'd put the little cotton circles and they were gone. And they had been dragged down, I guess, into the bathroom area of whatever nest they have made. And so the combination of peppermint oil and highly concentrated rat urine now greets me every time I come through my front door. And it is one of the most horrific things. I wonder if I'm ever going to be able to eat like chocolate with mint again. Um, <laughs> because this is actually traumatizing. <laughs> I'm just like, what have I done? Because I can't get into that area to take it back. I cannot undo this thing I have done. And of course I'm like this peppermint oil, this is really powerful stuff. This will be great. This will make them stay away from that area. Oh, oh, I might be the one who has to leave. <laughs> Why did I not think, oh, little bits of cotton are great bedding. Shred that shit up and they will, they'll just use it. They don't care. Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, so I am going to have to probably over these days that I have off, find some time 
to get a little Dremel or something and go cut open the fiberglass underneath and dump everything. Because I can hear it if I hit it with the broom. I can hear stuff, but it's it's clearing up a little bit. Thankfully, I get nose blind to it after I've been in the house for like five or ten minutes. Um, but I know it's still there. I know it's there. So yeah, I screwed myself royally because it's kind of like that day I put a few grains of cayenne pepper in the neti pot. Like, yeah, I've heard people using oregano stuff and uh, a little drop of, of cayenne oil for their sinuses. And next thing you know, I have pepper grains in my sinuses and I cannot get them out. Now, granted, I am a bit of a masochist. Rats in general will always, anything they can shred, right? Anything that is, that could possibly be shredded, including plastic and concrete. Um, who was that in here not too long ago said rats had chewed through concrete to get into their place? Golly. I mean, they're very resourceful and I don't hate them. I mean, if, if I could figure out a way to just let them have that space, but <laughs> I'm not going to go out and buy PDZ bedding and change out the yeah, and they're wild. They're wild rats. They're not here to do any good. If I if I encourage them in any way, they won't just be benevolent. They won't just become benevolent. They will still continue to destroy everything they can in the area. So I'm not entirely sure if my attempts to spray Lysol and some other <laughs> deodorizing elements may have. Um, they can chew through metal too. Oh, God. Yeah, I think Black Wolf Soul might have mentioned that once upon a time. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm unprepared to be murderous. And I don't, I just, I can't get my brain around killing them. But anyway, so what are we doing today? Today, Fallout New Vegas. Tomorrow, some cozy murder if i can uh get hitman up and running and then monday casual bg3 like i want to keep mondays just i am going to do stuff in the week you're not going to get a a contained playthrough where you get to see everything um i am going to do things during the week and then um on mondays if i saw something really fun we'll go back to a previous save and i'll show off the game to the stream because that's really what I want to do is just show off games. You're a show off. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I have been my whole life. Um, that's why I'm here. So, uh, yeah, if you want to hang out, at, you know, especially like I say, for, there are lots and lots of people who either do not celebrate Christmas uh, around the world or they have they, they look for something to watch on Christmas or they just have difficulty with things and need a place a nice safe place with a pillow and blanket fort and cookies to hang out and have some fun for a little while oh listen to me Oof. Ugh. all right <clears throat> so what am i doing i'm starting the game press play to continue and we'll go over here we'll go over here i don't I think we found some of the hollow tapes last time. Let's see if the game comes up. Yes. Here we are. All right. Let's load something up here. What a load. Yes. There we are. That's what we did. We left that place. And hot footed it back here with what health we had left. I think I kind of remember. I'm gonna try something great. I'm gonna load that one. Oh, Axe, thank you for the milk and cookies. Okay, marvelous. Woo wee! Okay, I have some stuff. Find the missing modules. So, did I. Yay! Upgrade hollow tape received adding layer weapon mod prismatic lens to vendor inventory might i be of service sir i have no idea 
I don't need anything back. Very good, sir. Um, what else did I get? Uh, oh, don't hit Q. Golly. Which modules did I get? Sync Autodoc and Biological Research Station. Okay, put your fists away. Um, it's over 9,000! Wolf Rocky! Welcome, my love. Hello. Hello, Rocky. Mwah. We had a Twitch baby, Rocky. Happy nine month anniversary. We need to make an extra plate of cookies for this. Oh, I need to check something. Let me see this. Did I... Dang it. Hang on. I have to fix something live right now. Because this is honestly going to drive me insane. Okay, do you have your game back? Why are you being dumb? Okay, there. Is that right? I actually have to do... No, I think it's still slightly off. All right, all right, all right. Let's try that. I cannot stand it to have my border under my camera. Somehow I moved it. And it ended up uh, <laughs> being not aligned with the stuff at the bottom. So this is what this is what we do. This is what Grandma do because I'm that person. How am I doing, Rocky? How are you doing? That's what I want to know, buddy. How are you doing? And is your game sound good? I'm gonna drop my mic just a little bit. Okay, continue. How's your life going, Rocky? Talk to the research. Ooh, oh, yeah, baby. Feels good to be online again. Yeah, all circuits online. Ready to receive your seed. What does that mean? I'm not worried about biology. I don't know that one doesn't have eggs. Just because it has a mask presenting voice doesn't mean it doesn't have ovaries. Learn something. What you doing with your weekend, Rocky? How are you today? It's the miracle of life, baby. You bring me some succulent genetic samples <laughs> and I'll oh, I work this. my mojo on them. Okay. Clone you up all kinds of plants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Clone I can also break plants. them down for you. If you're into the kinky stuff, bring me any old plant parts, and I'll grind them up into salient cream for you. What yeah. What do you do with that? You like that, don't you, baby? I do. I do. I love a good baritone voice. Speaking of baritone voices, look, y'all are here. I need you to do me a favor, because there is a streamer I watch, and... I just adore them. And I found out that they've been working on a follower goal, not a sub goal, just a follower goal. And they're trying to get viewership um, to make partner. And I absolutely, it's beyond me, beyond my brain, how they do not already have viewership to make partner because they're incredibly entertaining. Their production value is, I, I don't know. Co Carnage took years to get to that, and the production value, the community, 
um, reward stuff. So please, if you are watching my channel right now, would you go over to Jay Britton? Um, if they're streaming, just go watch them. But uh, if they're not, would you get them a follow and hit their YouTube up and all of that? We, I just really would love to see um, Jay succeed because he entertains the app. I mean, I'm actually downloading his VODs uh, from his Baldur's Gate playthrough, uh, trying not to spoil myself. <laughs> we can't go too far. Um, but I'm putting them on my device and having them off to the side while uh, during my commute. Because it's just so entertaining to listen to him. He's hilarious. Uh, and he's a... Souls and, and blood... He's a Bloodborne fan boy. But anyway, if you are here in my chat, and if I don't remember to do it later, if we... if uh, Axe, if you see numbers going up or anything like that, uh, ping me in chat so I can shout him out again. Because I just adore him. He's so delightful. And I only happened to cross him because I was um, looking at the actors for Baldur's Gate who are doing playthroughs. And his partner is Amelia Tyler, Millie, um, who is the narrator for Baldur's Gate 3. And just and their uh, multiplayer together, I hope they get back to it sometime soon. I know she's been busy. Um, but it is amazeballs, hilarity, and mortification. They play the most horrible brother-sister team in the world, in all the worlds. And they're just hilarious. Okay, what's salient green? That's the salient question. Just the miracle of life Salty in green. sticky, gooey, liquid form, baby. Mm -hmm. Heat that gunk up over a campfire <laughs> and just watch it congeal into all kinds of plants. I, um... <coughs> uh. All right. Oh, thank you, Axe. Yes. Let me get all the blankets on Rocky. Rocky is OG. Rocky has been here from the beginning. Do you have a founder? Is that a founder? Oh, I get, think you have to... I know you have your VIP. Let's see. Rocky started following April of 22. So, yep, I started streaming in January. So Rocky is 100% OG. Okay. I command you to open your port and receive my seed. Yeah, I'm not in that mood right now. I got to work up to that. It's a little chilly. It helps if I'm warm. Right. So if I bring you samples of dried plant life, you can clone them and grow them in these planters? You know it, baby. I just need some samples and I got you going. Take a few days, but trust me, it's all kinds of good. <laughs> <laughs> I really needed this. I'd like to process some plants. I love it when you talk like that. Mm -hmm. Let me just get that interface up and running for okay. you. Okay. Process seed into planter. Have you ever block. seen a biological research station this full of seed? No. Xander root? No, you haven't. Oh, yeah. We're going to start growing some plants. All right. I don't like talking to things from the side. Well, hello. I gave you Still some seed. waiting for that seed. You still hungry for seed? Uh, I'd like to process some I plants. I love it when you talk like that. Let me just get that interface up and running for you. Oh, no, it's... I don't know. I kept getting copyrighted for that. That was my... Rock flowers removed. Okay, okay, okay. 14 salient greens. Activate hot plate. Well, I know I cannot make nothing. Why? Okay. Um, I don't really have very good survival skills in game. I mean, IRL, I have pretty decent survival skills. Oh, God, look at you. You're 
Filthy. I suppose you want to clean up then? Well, before I go play with uh, old uh, Barry White over there, yeah. Seem so kind of worried about dirt. What's wrong? Oh, I can fill up empty bottles. <gasps> Does she give me purified water? You seem kind of worried about dirt. What's wrong? Oh, it's just so unsanitary. Do you know how many germs are in one cubic centimeter of dirt? Seventy hundred gajillion. Would you want that getting washed down your gullet day in and day out? I didn't think so. <laughs> I just like a drink, thanks. You can have as much as you like. Just uh, please don't put your lips on the faucet. It's so unsanitary. It is. Please don't put your lips on the faucet. Okay. So I think we have to go away before any of our plants start growing. But as I bring seed to the Biological Research Center, when I come in here, I, w I just have an automatic garden of plants. Okay, did I get this one? Personality file's missing. Did I get this one? No. Advanced function file, nope, I don't have that one. Did I get muggy? Hey, Muggy, did I get yours? No. Right, fine. Fine. Okay. Make me click okay. Listen here. Uh, so I still need... Who else do I need to talk to? Well, that's for... That's my spine. That's my heart. That's for my brain. All right. Yeah, we got our asses handed to us out there in the world. Okay. Let us <clears throat> see. Find missing modules for the light switches and jukebox. There's more than that, though. They're really... Um, Gating me. Okay. Oh, Higgs Village. I have fast travel to that. The antenna array. Let me see what I can do to... What are my weapons right now? Elijah's advanced lair. Uh, the cyberdog gun. Oh, proton throwing axes. Bonus damage versus robots and power armor. Nice. In top condition. Sonic emitter. <clears throat> Bonus damage. Uh, do I need to repair that at all? Let's do We don't need to repair it. Okay. Cyberdog gun is not looking good. This. Don't know that I need that. Okay, how about my outfits? What am I wearing? Metal armor? Oh, it's almost dead. Old scientist scrubs. Let's put those on while we're in here. God, I need some stuff repaired. Does the sink repair things for me? <coughs> Hi, buddy. Might oh, I be of service, sir? Um... I need my equipment repaired. Very good, sir. How much is that? 3,000 caps? 3,000 caps? Chibas. 6,000 caps? Do I need to put on something for barter? Maybe not. What's up, Auto Doc? <sighs> well, how about that? Old auto docks back online. Oh. Well, all right. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You're not exactly well, Doc Mitchell. Well, he ain't the fittest horse that ever ran a race, but he don't appear in immediate danger of keeling over. I can patch you up if you want. I'd like to engage your services. And rightly so, I should think. Oh. All right, then. <laughs> Let me just fire up the old interface for you. 
basic physical oh get the mouse out of there basic physical exam yes on the health back uh, forceps nurse this man's got a severe case the shoe lung yeah, are you having a little flashbacks there doc Implant C-13 is now available for surgical installation. Do you require some additional services? I don't even know. I'd like to engage your services. I think that's a fabulous way of initiating professional engagement. I'm feeling a little unwell in the head. Can you perform a psychiatric evaluation on me? Concerned about the state of your mind, are you? Well, nope, such things maybe. ain't my specialty, but I'm happy to tender my opinion <laughs> as to your mental health. Right I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive. That is, this only works once. Now, are you sure this is what you want? No, I'm not. On second thought, not now. Well, I'll be right here if you change your mind. I think I'd rather do that after I get my brain back. What else can do you I do? you require some additional services? I don't know. I'd like to engage your services. And rightly so, I should think. All right, then. Let me just fire well, up the old interface for you. what we just had with the you. Biological Research Center. Um, get a haircut, swap body parts, install implants. Uh, 8,000 caps? I, I do not have this. Do nothing. Swap body parts. Do nothing. Oh, that's right. I think I can actually keep my um, 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 um the fake spine and heart and brain that they give me. I think I can actually keep them. What's in here? All right. What do I have for weapons? This one takes 357s. Do I have any? No. Can I make some? Yes. I made eight rounds. Sir's accoutrements are precisely where Sir has left them. And should the toaster say otherwise, I remind Sir that it is a waste room. Please save the game. Oh, what a very good idea. Thank you. Hello, the Marmalizer. Mm, welcome in. Welcome in. Um, I can do this now. Control V. There we go. I finally got smart. <laughs> really, you could do this a lot quicker if you would use the computer's abilities to help you. Hello! Are you flying? Are you in an airplane right now? Um, sure. Wow. I'll take that. Overcharge. Because doesn't the lair use that? I think it does. Um, why don't we head over to Higgs Village then? Let's go explore Higgs Village today. On call from home. All right. Can I fast travel though? Because I'm inside this thing. Hang on, let me see. Beep, boop. I can! Yay! Two standby shifts this week? Man, the airport yesterday was, I told everybody, like, I usually get there at um, 12.30. We didn't get there till 1.30. And so I didn't get anything more than a quick bio break. And I had to go. So... Um, we have something in here, local map. It says it's in front of me to the right. So let's go do a little exploration here in Higgs Village today. That will be our, because I don't have any, I don't think I have any uh, enemies in here. Did we check all of these? Oh, we did not. Shit. I didn't want the scrap metal. under misc I think it is 
What I wouldn't give right now for a send to camp option. Only reason I don't get to the airport more than an hour before my flight is contractually. I only got to be there an hour early. Right. You're not paid. Yeah. Not signing. Somebody just put up a Reddit post recently about, um, I forget what it was. It was like the real reason, um, Uh, stewards greet you on your way in even though they're not being paid for it I don't know plus I can either use KCM to skip security nice get random just go to the front of the line very nice yeah don't don't sign in early if you don't have to I'll take a locked one. Oh, look how easy Oh, I will take all of that. Thank you. Um, should I equip my bark bark? Yeah, there it is. Just in case. All right, let's go around the outside for a minute. I also want to push my alt key. What's that? Nuka Cola Victory. Uh, can we examine that, please? Oh, it's under aid. My bad. Nuka Cola Victory. HP plus four for 20 seconds. AP plus 13. Rads plus eight. Oh, how are my rads anyway? I have zero. Science. Oh, right. You're not wearing armor, buddy. I have my regeneration. Okay. Perception plus one. I'm good with that. But, yeah, I didn't realize that... Um, what is your official... What is the title for um, the staff, the in-flight staff? Flight attendant, thank you. Brain dog. My brain dog was not fetching. I, like, throw a stick, it kept coming back with a damn pine cone. I'm like, brain dog, fetch the words. Because I grew up in the uh, stewardess era. And they didn't even really use steward because, well, that's not a man's job. You're serving and taking care of people. Leave that to the ladies. They're genetically designed to do this. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. Not that. What is my weight right now? Meh. I got about 30 pounds I can grab. It's just We're just going to go all the way around the outside. Oh, hello. Empty. Oh, yes. Bottle cap. All right. We can take all of that. That's fine. Get back this one. Oh, we can take everything because we can fast travel back to our place and get rid of stuff. What do we have here? Beers? Okay. A lot of us actually get bitter over being called stewards now. Nowadays, because service is just a side part of our job. In my five weeks of training, one day with service, right? There's so much else. It's kind of like, um, it's not dissimilar from the being a driver in that, um, people don't often appreciate the nuance of the job and everything that goes into it. They see what they see you doing and they base their understanding of your whole job on the bits they see you doing. I mean, there's a lot of people who cannot appreciate 
how exhausting it is to drive a 30 foot bus yes give me those magazines in traffic and I'm sitting there trying not to completely destroy my brakes. It is very bad uh, for those vehicles to uh, be constantly forward and back and forward and back and forward and back. And that's what traffic is doing. So I'm leaving my braking space so I can just come off the accelerator and slow down. Um, instead of just slamming on my brake constantly because then it also takes me forever to get back up to speed so for all those people who um why can't i pick it up Is a grass grown over it, I guess? Um, who jump into that space, that my three to four bus lengths of space in front of me, and they just jump in and then put on their brakes. I really, there is a special place in some spot of eternal torment for you. Gabe, I have Gabe's bowl. A brain's best friend. I've received a new quest. See if you can find more evidence of Gabe in X8. Okay. Anything here? Hey, what's that? Nuka Cola Quartz. What's that do? Low light vision. Ooh, DT plus two, HP plus four for 20 seconds, rads plus eight. We can take rads. I can deal with having rads. So camera, more mentats. I'm not using those. Maybe I should be using those. What do they do again? What do mentats do? Personality int. Um, five weeks with safety. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I mean, the sheer, that's, you know, I've, I've tried to say to people over time, anybody can drive a vehicle. Like you could train an animal to drive a vehicle. It does not take a lot. What takes a lot is anticipating stupid, knowing all the stupid things the people around will do Okay. Okay, we got all of those. Thank you, people, for having gardens. I can't take anything from this. I tried to collect lunch boxes when I first played this game because I thought there was something cool about them that you could get. I thought they would give you something. And I never got anything cool out of it. So if anybody knows of some perk to the lunch boxes that I have missed, speak up. Okay. That's just decoration. Ufta. I want to be able to breathe. All right, that's where we started. Let's go start to look in the houses. Did I get all of this stuff up here? Oh, I did not. Empty Nuka Cola bottle. There's bottle caps everywhere around this fountain. Okay, oh, let's turn down the mouse a little bit. Oh, 
Okay, three coins in the fountain. Um, somebody, once upon a time, wasn't there a shift? No. I thought there was like a sweep. Might not have been this game, sweep mechanic. Yeah, so I can imagine with an airplane as well, just being aware of all the multitudinous things that can happen during a flight. I will take a super stim pack, thank you. Take a bottle cap, take a bottle cap, take a bottle cap. I will be diligent in my search here. Okay, I take a sip from my trusty bolt 13. All right, so that's my entry staircase. Let's save the game. That's a lovely vista. Ah, uh, poppity poppity. Sushi Cannon! Welcome in, my love. Mm. Thank you for coming to spend some time with us. We're going to hang out with some Fallout New Vegas Old World Blues DLC today. And uh, just chill out for a couple of hours together. Uh, I need to just double check this thing over here. And is that... Are they lined up? Daggity nabbit. Um, there you go. Tuck yourself into the pillow and blanket for it real quick. And I need to do this and that. And this and that. This and that. Let's see if that works. Okay, the marmalizer. Someone was commenting on how stiff we looked during takeoff and landing. We don't have a seat in front of us or to the side to brace against. So we sit on our hands or hands on our knees all the way back in the seat, pretty much in our brace position, right? The sheer volume of things that can go wrong, and you know what they are. I don't even know what they are. I just know the ones that I've experienced. But you guys ha kind of have to be prepared for all of the multitudinous things that they know about that can go wrong. I cannot imagine carrying the weight of um, uh, that anxiety of just being prepared. Oh, hey, I can do this. Beep boop. Oh, shit. Here we go again. There you go. Now you don't have to worry about ads. You guys do feel free to tell me when ads pop up. I don't have them turned on or in my control. So I'm just letting Twitch do what it wants. Um, but um, oh, for even for simple stuff, an aborted takeoff could give me whiplash if I, if, yeah, wasn't head back in your jump seat. Yeah, and then that's going to affect your ability to function without pain and carry on for the rest of the day and the next day. I'm going to duck out. I'm not going to do a full break real quick. I'm just going to go here and, uh, of course, Sushi Cannon, of course. I love the people in my community, and I love that we are just a lovely small group of folks hanging out in a pillow and black. Well, small that I know about. I don't keep viewers on because... For me, I'm going to do the same show, hopefully, whether it's a thousand viewers or 10,000 viewers or one viewer. This is, this is my show. This is what I do. Um, and I love being here and doing this. I'm so happy that I made the decision to just dive in and do, uh, do streaming. So yeah, I'm grateful for your company here, and I have the resources to do that. All right. I am going to duck the mic real quick, and then uh, just refill my water, and I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Enjoy this beautiful view. Say hi to each other, and grab yourself some cookies. Uh, do remember, if you're just going to hang out and lurk, use exclamation point lurk 
and throw yourself in the pillow and blanket fort. And if you see somebody else go into the pillow and blanket fort, feel free to use exclamation point blanket at the individual and throw a nice soft warm blanket over top of them. I will BRB. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Let's go and explore Higgs Village and see what's in these houses that where all of the scientists who we met at the very beginning used to live here. These are their houses. So um, we have Dr. Dalla, Dr. O, Dr. Klein. Eight. Um, so they have numbers on them. So I don't need to be hidden. Uh, 104. Zero. What do you say? Let's start with zero. Now I do know that one of these is booby trapped to hell. So, ooh, search the Securitron, open the toolbox. Oh, so much material. As soon as we get Muggy back up and running. Who's place? Is this Ape's place? Ooh. Hello, Mr. House. Somebody did not like Robert House around here. All right. Sure. I'm not going to take all that stuff yet, although I should make sure I find Muggy's hollow tape. I've also, I've gotten into this thing with Baldur's Gate of collecting paintings now. So, what's that? Just a stain on a end table. Alright, this looks dangerous. If somebody has all of this equipment, yes, and Securitrons, I'm guessing there's booby traps somewhere. Can any of this be accessed? Oh. These two rooms appear to be connected. There's a lot of books. Hollow tape. I see it. Right in front of me. F5. F5. So welcome in everybody who's out there 
in Looker Land. An audio sample of a giant tarantula. You have found a recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox in the sink to recalibrate the sonic emitter for new effects. The jukebox recal... Oh, God, I totally forgot about that. Hello, is that you, Dr. Klein? Who is that watching me? Open the desk. I'm not taking any of that right now. Can't use the computer. Can't use that. All right, this is all just set decoration, I guess. Can't be booby trapped. Okay, somebody has completely converted their house into, all right, what do we got in here? I'll take that. Just a lot of books. Am I able to move any of these things? No, it won't let me grab them. What about that? Is there something behind it? No, I've been playing too many other games. I have to remember when this came out. 6,000 years ago. It's been 6,000 years. Okay, so I don't have a... Uh, basement or anything to explore. Okay, zero, zero is done. Um, okay, there's one. Mailbox is empty. We did everything around the outside. Open the door. Crouch. I am super paranoid about this place. I'll take that. What I want is a hollow tape. So we'll take all of that. Take all of that. Pots. All right, here we go. I know, isn't this super exciting? <laughs> oh no. Yep, I'll take it. Oh, what do we got? It's just whiskey, scotch. This is one of those things where they're just going to lull you into a false sense of security and have a landmine. Oh, yeah. Give it. Give me all of it. Mentats. I guess I need to learn how to use them. Oh, yes. I'll take some wine. Thank you. This is such a fun DLC. Oh, more wine. Oh, this must be Dala's place. No, where's the... I don't see the teddy bears. Dala would have teddy bears. Okay, tons of books that we can recycle in that book shoot. God, I can't wait till we get that up and running. Camera vacuum cleaner. Don't need to sleep. Mentats. These people are just mentat addicts, man. All right. So have we cleared the house? Everything I can see. Um, there wasn't any access to any kind of a. Uh... Okay, zero zero and zero one are done. I'm just saving because I'm super paranoid. I kind of remember, and I could be wrong, but I kind of remember one of these places being booby-trapped to hell. Ah. 
No, I want magazines. 102. Who is this going to be? Unarmed plus five. Huh. Oh my gosh, I I only have two pounds left. I guess I could drop a bunch of stuff in one of the houses. Okay, do the downstairs first. And now I'm at 220. Hockey mask might end up being helpful later on. Okay, so what I need to do is just go to the fountain and drop a bunch of heavy stuff. Oh, there's desks. Sometimes there's magazines and desks. All right, we're gonna drop a bunch of stuff in the fountain. Let's drop some heavy stuff right here where the bottles are. Okay, what do we have? Oh, weapons. These are heavy. Um, that is four, 27. Uh, we're dropping that because it's almost dead. Keep that. Miscellaneous. Okay, sort by weight. No? No. Okay. Let's just get rid of some stuff. We're at 186. That's for the book shoot. All right, drop that. 175. What is holding me down? 22 pounds of atomic cocktail. Shut up, I need it. Oh, uh, let's get rid of all the alcohol for a minute. See, that stuff doesn't really weigh anything. That's 36 pounds of Sunset Sarsaparilla. Drop all of them. I'm not using them right now. Where's the Nuka-Cola? I probably have a bunch of them too. Oh, not really. All right, I'm down to 133. That's actually a lot more than I want to have. All right. So I came from there. Let's go to... Oh, I didn't go up... Did I go upstairs? I don't remember going upstairs. 
and zero two. Goodness gracious, all of that stuff is going to be recyclable in um, in my little house. Okay. Oh, buddy. Somebody had a very serious Mentat addiction here. All right, we'll just take all of this. Who knows? Maybe I can sell them to somebody. Oh, that looks like my green screen. Oh, that took me for freaking ever today. Um, I don't know what was wrong with my green screen this morning. Yeah, somebody had a serious Mentats addiction. Holotape. I see you. Recipes. Science skill book. You can just keep coming back to um, Big Empty and make skill books. Okay, that's 103. Now we go to 104. I got all of those. Oh, no, that was 102. Now we're in 103. Okay. okay. Have they lulled me into a false sense of security yet? Somebody had a bird. More than one. More than two. Somebody had a lot of birds. Locked hard. Lockpick skill of 75. Take men tats, open the cabinet. Take that and that. I don't need the duct tape right now. Bobby pin. Big Empty is a song from the 90s. I wonder, oh, I absolutely 100% guarantee it. Wow. You know, I love birds. I absolutely adore birds. Um, but I cannot, cannot get my brain around why somebody would want to keep a bird in a cage in a house. Like, it's a bird, man. It's... It's supposed to fly and shit. Okay, so let's see what my skills are. Should be close. Oh, I'm not even close. I am, however, close to leveling up. What the shit? Um, lockpick is based on which special int perception um medicine perception anything that will bump my perception up uh, okay because the lockpick magazine only gives me 10 all right all right all right
And the Mentats will give me Perception plus two, but that's only two. Is this a song from the 90s? I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering, because I'm starting to think this came out. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me look this up real quick. I have this right here. Pilgrimage, Stone Temple Pilots. That was the band for the song. Um, I have Old World Blues. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Perks. Where is behind the scenes? There we go. Was a location. So here you go. The Big Empty was a location that was scrapped from Black Isles canceled Fallout 3 for Van Buren. At one point prior to release, Chris Avalone set his location on Twitter pro on his Twitter profile to Big MT comma Mojave, placing the Big Empty as a location within the Mojave wasteland, thus teasing its possible appearance in the future Fallout New Vegas add-on. According to Joshua Sawyer, Old World Blues was born out of Chris Avalone's desire to make a humor-oriented DLC. Where one, what? Who's done this? Sasuke! Hello! Welcome in! Marmalizer, enjoy your lurk! Um, here, have a blanket. Sasuke, thank you for following. I appreciate you. Filgrimage, nice to see you. Oh, thank you. Filgrimage came out in the 2000s. STP song was like 93. Oh, very nice. What did I just do? I used the wrong keyboard. And I just used up something. I don't know what I did. Maybe I took some Mentats. Is that what I did? God, I didn't use the magazine. I didn't use a magazine, right? Shit. What effects do I have? Oh, did I take MedX? All right, I don't think I did anything horrific. So right now, lockpick is at 52. It has a plus. It's gonna, I'm getting some uh, perception from something else. Okay, we were looking at trivia for Old World Blues. Um, let's see. Add-on contains homage to science fiction B-movies of the 50s. Shares many similarities with The Wizard of Oz. So, yeah, then we talked about that. Notes, trivia. Huh. It doesn't say specifically, but I have to believe that the way these devs work. Maybe it says up at the top. I doubt it. It's usually just around the, the whole trivia section. All right. Well, that's, I'm going to go with Phil, what Filgrimage said. And I have to believe that that's, these guys just love tucking in references to things. I only have like less than 300 XP to get to the next level. So I can't get to 75 yet. There's a dinosaur. Okay, I will take your bottle caps. These desks with no magazines, man. Whoa. 
Am I going to need knives? Is that what they're trying to tell me? I'm going to take all your bottle caps. Oh, yeah. Where's Muggy's... Hollow tape. I need Muggy's hollow tape. I'm not taking any of that. All right, this is 103, so we finished that. 103 has a um, okay. Remember, 103 has the locked basement. One oh eight. Why are you out of order? Why don't we just quick save? Something here is out of order. Okay, there's a jukebox. We don't turn on any jukeboxes because I like living in a universe where I don't get copyright struck. Lots of books. We'll be back for you later. Okay. No booby traps. I'm probably just being uber paranoid. Okay. Somebody was... Oh, wow. Whew. That can be medicated. All right. We're not taking any of that. Ooh, smashing up our radios, are we? Okay, I don't want booby traps. I'll take that. That won't weigh much. Half of my brain is, I think, just trying to get itself ready to do Hitman again tomorrow. God, I miss that game. I'm going to I'm going to have to sit down with it for a minute and get all of my keybinds down right. Oh, yes. Sync Project Jukebox. Uh, take the bottle cap. I think I can sell all the cigarettes and all that stuff to the sink in the middle of my quarters. Open the desk. We already did that. Nothing else interactable here. What's that? Anything for me? No, that's a speaker. All right. We already did that and that. Oh, what's over here? Hello. Somebody really liked music. Oh, I wonder if that is Dr. Eight, the one who only speaks in sounds. Yeah, that sounds about right. Lol. See what I did there? Audio sample, opera singer. I was actually trained for, well, training for opera. You have found a recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox in the sink to recalibrate the sonic emitter for new effects. Yeah, but I don't think I can change those effects on the fly. I think I have to keep going back to the jukebox to change them, which I think is why I didn't use them before. 75. Even if I put all 14 of my points into loft pick, although I need to, maybe if I bump my perception enough, do the chems stack? Like if I just took a bunch of mentats, Would they stack on top of each other and give me plus two for each dose? 104. I want to believe that it is that the mechanics in Fallout New Vegas are no stacking. So... Oh, Muggy's, or, uh, Bookshoot's gonna love all these, these books. Yes, yes, yes. 
they're gonna be very yummy. Nom, nom, nom. Somebody else who really liked wine. We haven't found the place with all the teddy bears. Isn't there a place? Isn't Dala's place just like chock full of teddy bears? Okay. I've become less and less concerned about booby traps, so let's fix that. There it is. This is Dala's place. Oh, man. So she smashed all the mirrors. I'm going to take all the teddy bears. All right, here we go. So she must have had a thing where she could take pictures. So she would view herself with each of her bears and then come over here and take photos of herself with her teddy bears. Do I even... Oh... Okay, then. Dala. Is that the one I have? Naughty nightwear and sexy sleepwear are two different things. Okay. Um, so we're going to take that. Take the bears. Escape. What's that? More sexy sleepwear, so... Oh, she is playing dress-up. Alright, alright, alright. I'm not against it. I mean, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Thank you. Yes. I need all the bottle caps. I wonder if I can sell those clothes back. Acts of truth. Hockey mask? Right. So the hockey mask, when I looked at it before, hang on, let's grab that. Um, it gives you plus five to unarmed. So if I could even remotely remember to use that. Um, in the middle of things, which I rarely can. I have to believe we can sell a lot of that um, clothing. I hate it when I hit Q. Oh, hello. A speech skill book. Walked right on by that. Just on by. Okay. So that was 104. And for anybody who's just tuning in, we did all around the back of the houses. <clears throat> so did I find the quest item? Yes. So now I need to go to the antenna array. Oh man, that's going to be brutal. We're going to get our ass handed to us. My brain was painting a picture that aligned with teddy bears and a hockey mask. Yeah, there is a really scary cartoon in there. And especially with all the mannequins and all the clothes that she could dress them in. The cameras. All the mirrors. And especially at the beginning when they first met me and they're talking about all the little hand penises and foot penises for fingers and toes and she starts into the whole oh but teddy bears you're like ha, 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 ha. yikes his little teddy bear toes maybe not um what's my weight 161 I want to go back 
to my room. Let's take the, some of these proton axes again then. Because uh, I don't know if they're going to come in handy or not. Is that a bottle cap? What? Why is that there? I thought I got them all. Um, I don't know what to do with the lunch boxes. All right. We did get another quest for Gabe because we did pick up a dog bowl in a little dog house that said Gabe. So we have a whole new quest, but that involves our going back to... Oh, I should take advantage of these, shouldn't I? To put things in so that I can retrieve them quickly. Okay. Um... Pig's Village has been looted. Well, of the things I wanted. If you see a Robo Scorpions, do not attempt to fight them. They will shoot you with their robotic stingers and then possibly explode. Over not fast travel. It just says hidden. I don't have any enemies nearby me. Oh no! Where is that coming from? Holy crap. Nope. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Alrighty then. Really? Alrighty, I need a little bit of aid. I need to put on some leather armor. I need... Uh, Ba, 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 ba. Buff out. Uh, they don't have those kinds of weapons. Let's get some fun things on real quick. Some psycho. Am I out of jet? Nope. I am not jet. Psycho. Rebound. Sugar bombs. And I've already lost some stuff. Alright, so. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh no! Somebody's got an axe! Indeed! Indeed! Okay, so... That's why we did this save. All right. What does the sexy sleepwear do? Charisma plus one. I don't know. We'll leave it there for a minute. I only have that because of dipshit. Um, proton throwing axe. Okay, we'll keep that at the ready. Now let's see if I can get outside to safety. Uh, 
I cannot. So. Sugar bombs. Rebound. Psycho. Jet. Buff out. Let's do this thing. I'll just set this on repeat while I go relieve my tank. No one will know. Okay, where is it? Where is he? God damn it, Vats. I ain't. I got 50% on everything. And he didn't even hit him. Oh, I am just broken. This gun is bad. And I should feel bad for using it. This is a terrible gunfight to be in. Let's get him down. Oh, beautiful. Well done. Come on up. Nope. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Uh, oh man, this is too many. This is too many. Come here. Alright. I do. Um, aid. else do I want for this? Except, please don't die. Crit chance plus five. Okay. Do I have a guns one? It's my guns one. Survival. That's not right. I don't think so. See me leaning back in my chair. All right, come here. What do I have? What is wrong with my screen? Uh, change weapons. I'm changing weapons. So this is how we die. There's no way out of this fight, and I have shit for weapons. So. I'm going to do the smart thing. And go straight to the stone way. <laughs> Thanks, Axe. I think this is my best bet right now is to just bippity boppity squiddly poppity get as far away from those bad boys as i can and fast travel yes thank you okay that's how we uh evade combat because <laughs> i got a bunch of hollow tapes right now that I really want to take advantage of. I didn't get that one? No. I got the jukebox, right? Don't play any music. Ooh, yeah. Dig that sweet music. 
Damn. Hey, if you cannot it's overcome, good to be evade. Back on line. Back on line. What's your purpose here? Dig, I'm an acoustical wizard, kid. A wizard. Old Doc Moe used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Doc Get me Moe. a oh, good that's sample base to work from, and I can whip up a way that makes Jericho look like a kazoo. Can you do anything like that for me? Got yourself a sonic emitter, don't you? Thought so. Bring that old thing on in here and bring me some sound, sound samples. samples and I'll make that baby make sing. Make my baby sing. Or scream. No, screaming babies <laughs> that's is bad. What you want. Between you and the biological research center, I, I need to go take a cold shower. I found a sound wave file for you. Right on, baby. Just plug it in and I'll make Blind you a diode sweet, Jefferson. Sweet sound. Okay. Tarantula. Opera singer Tarantula. That's it. I want to recalibrate the sonic emitter. Right on, baby. What's Let's it do? Let's spin some grooves. Okay. Revelation. So, it doesn't tell me anything about these. Tarantula. Now we go look. Oh, lol. Uh, sonic emitter tarantula. 4651 is still the same. What's the hat? Yep, you know the haps is. I want to recalibrate the sonic emitter. Right on, so that was baby. 4651. Let's spin some grooves. Let's see if it changes any of the opera singer. 46. Oh, 4246. Oh, tarantula is objectively better. Uh, was the haps. The 4651 was the best one so far right with Tarantula. On, Let's see what uh, Let's spin Revelation was giving us. Uh, I'm going to give you the opera singer and go back to Revelation because I forgot to look at it before we started this. Oh. All right. Tarantula is 100% the best. Okay, let's put on to the haps. Dig, nope. I'm a acoustic. Yeah. Right on, baby. Let's spin some groove. Tarantula. I'm gonna give you revelation and I'm gonna take back Tarantula. Alright, now let's chat. What's the haps? What is the haps, boo? Um, what's your purpose Dig. here? You seem pretty laid back for an engine of destruction. Why not? Ain't like I got nothing to prove. Not like that toaster. <laughs> now that boy got some issues. I'd like to talk about something else. Lay it on me, mama. <laughs> Do you play music? Mm, used to. Long time ago. Then old Doc Moore ripped yeah. out my music drives and stuck in more acoustical processors. That's a little cold Guess you could say, I got the blues, even oh. if I can't play them no more. All right, I'll talk to you later. Get you later, Gator. I don't want to play music anyway. Copyright bastards. Is that a toaster? Talk to the toaster. Oh, no, I don't have your stuff. So where's, uh, what's the status of the quest? All my friends have awesome. I need the light switches and the jukebox. Okay, world map. Oh, no, I'm not going there. That's all them bastards that were trying to kill me over here. We could go to the 
the YO Research Center and take this trail across, I guess? I cannot fa oh no, I have to go outside. No. Dane Bramage, but stop it. Here and now, got its ups and downs, but focusing on Six the past. Six of them, all right. Like it was um, hey, might I be of service, you sir? may, you may be of service. Um, I'd like to buy some things. Very good, sir. I would like to sell some things. Oh, now I have 4,000 caps. That's lovely. Just get rid of that. Do I want these? Oh, look at that. Um, increased attack speed. I want that. Critical heat damage. I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, let's... No. Let's see what I can do with some of this. Anything in here? Probably gonna need that. Wait, <laughs> shit. I don't know which thing to sell my stuff to. I think I should be selling this to the biological thing. We should probably go check that first. What else did I pick up? Teddy bears. 13 of them. You're going to give me two for each. I really hate this part of the whole thing. Clipboard. Dinner plate. Camera. Carton of cigarettes. I will take that. Okay, now you... That's really run down. Miscellaneous. I don't know, what do we have in here? A layer mod for prismatic lens and it splits the beam. Value 29.98. I am not wearing the right outfit for this. Okay. I need to put on Do I have Benny's suit? Int 1 speech plus 10. Can't remember what affects barter. Um, barter is luck. No. Charisma. Barter. So if I have something to boost charisma, like plus one, that's a charisma, but Benny's outfit is way better. That's just old. All right, world. where did I put it? I put it in my closet. Wait. Benny's suit, barter plus five, speech plus five. Let's see if that helps me with my own freaking exchange thing. Might I be of service, oh, sir? 
Switch off the personality matrices. I'd like to buy some things. Very good, sir. Now, let's see what that lair mod is now. Still twice the price. I don't have anywhere else to buy it. Okay. Well, we'll get more caps eventually, I guess. All right, go to weapons. Where's the lair? Did you put it away? You, Oh God, did you drop it back at Higgs? Spend all of that on a weapon I don't even have right now. Oh wow. Yeah, I think that's one of the things I dropped at the village. Shit. All right. Versus robots and power armor, a critical strike is incendiary. This is a 3745 and this is an 1821. What will it give me for the sterilizer glove? I don't want to use that. Might I, I have the sir. Fist now. Um, I'd like to buy some things. Very good, sir. Weapons. Sterilizer glove, 965. There we go. Accept. Okay. Um, God, can I even sell him back the stupid thing? Look at that. I paid 4000 He wants to give me 1900 It's even less than the value. Jeebus, this is brutal. I kind of want to just go back <laughs> to here. Let's go back to here for a minute because I really regret so many decisions. But now we know that tarantula is the best and I'm actually getting really hungry. And I think this is just kind of a moment of hangry that I'm dealing with. So I am going to pause the stream for right now. We've been on two hours, which was my, that's what I put on the schedule. But I need to go make food because I'm losing focus and I'm still really tired from yesterday. All right. Let me come up here and then we can come over to here and I can say thank you. There, we did the thing that I set out to do. We explored Higgs Village um, and that's a good thing. Um, although I should, hang on, hang on. Um, oh, Sushi, I love you. I love you so much. I'm so grateful that you're just, that you're here. Um, and I want you to take good care of yourself. That's what I want. I want that for all of you. I want you to look out for yourself unapologetically. Like I'm going to do right now. This is me. This is me modeling the behavior. I want you to, oh, there it is. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take, okay. So. I have that back and I have that back. Good, because that's what I want to be using. But if I have that, that means I already went atop that satellite thing. I have that and the ammo is overcharge. Thank you. That might actually have been the thing that would have helped me. 
put that on, even if it's terrible. Okay. Now we can go back up to the top. Whoops, that's not the way. This is not the way. Did we check that? We did not. Thank you. I'm still having trouble breathing. <laughs> but I actually, I ate very little food yesterday, so I also think my body is struggling to recover because it wants some freaking nutrients. All right. So let's oversave our previous save with this now that I have the stuff I want. So oversave that. Super. Super. And now I am going to do this. Uh, hang on. I'm going to do this. This. And this. And this. And say thank you so much, everybody who is out there. Ugh. I know this can be a difficult season for a lot of people for many reasons, but I'm going to be here tomorrow morning. And if I stop back later on today, then you'll just, maybe I'll, I'll throw it in the, in the discord so you can see. Um, but feel free to chill with each other over on the discord channel. Let me grab you an invite real quick. Um, invite the people. Uh, just be aware <laughs> that I'm really not there very often. So um, that's for all of you. And I will stop in whenever I can. I do try to put the notifications on, but um, I still can't figure out how to navigate notifications um, from other folks. But I do, again, want to put out this uh that's wrong that's wait that's wrong that's not them no 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 no. uh remove that no close axe do you know hang on um that purge great no i don't think that worked either jesus fucking christ let me go find him Hang on, he's on my. Um, go here. Uh, subscriptions. Gifted. Copy link address. Go. There it is. Nope, that's not it either. Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, that's the link. Here, that's the link. That's not how you do the shout out. So forget everything else I said. I can't, I don't even know how to do this properly. So whatever that link was I gave you at the beginning. Um, that was wrong. They are not playing Valorant. That really surprised me. I should have noticed that at the time. So does that link take you there? Yes, it does. So. Um, how do I actually do that as this? There it is. Okay. That is correct. Um, Perfect. Okay. Yay. Thank you. Acts of truth. We all got it. Look, I don't mean to, to, to beat this up. It's just, he is really talented and he has a very entertaining stream that I use to keep me company. He's just delightful company to spend time with. So please go check that out because I would love to see somebody like him make partner. We need more Twitch partners like that. So and that's really, uh, I've, I've had a lot of inspiration from watching him as well of things that I might want to do on our stream in 2024 when I start really uh, charging, charging this back up. 
energizing this stream. So I'm going to close out for now and um, we can take a peek over here and I will be back uh, at the usual time tomorrow morning where we'll try some some Hitman again. I'm just missing the game and I want to go back to it. And on Monday, our usual casual Baldur's Gate 3. So for everybody who took a moment to stop by today, just thank you. I appreciate you. I hope you are taking care of yourself. Please, please. This is a tough time for lots of people. So if you are taking good care of yourself, you will have the openness and compassion to help to look out for other people and make sure that they have a nice soft pillow and blanket for it um, so that when the spiky things hit them, you know, that you can be a safe place for them as well. Okay, Marm, there you are. I love you. And I, I do. I love all of you. And whatever you're doing now, it's enough. You do not have to celebrate. You do not have to do anything you don't want to do. But if you're one of those people who absolutely loves this holiday, then yay, I am happy for you. Get all the lights, get all the trees, get all the decorations, eat all the food, and enjoy all the family. And I will see you again tomorrow morning. Remember, take care of you like grandma would because I love you. All right, y'all. Peace, love, and joy. See you later. Thank you for watching.